Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Today I am smoking my newly acquired Rossi 8320 Antico that I won from All Briared Up. Thank you, John. And in it, I'm smoking some Samuel Gawith Kindle Cream. And this is some wonderful tobacco. Delicious stuff. It is a beautiful day here. It is sunny. Blue skies. It's a little windy, but it is 60 degrees here. It is too hot. It is too dang hot here. I don't like this 60 degrees weather here. I want snow. This is this is California weather here. But at least the wind is keeping it nice and bearable. I'm wearing a, a flannel at least. But it is nice. It is very nice weather. Very, very nice weather. And I'm in a shady spot with the wind, so that keeps it nice and cool. And it is windy. I mean, it is windy here. I hope it's not too windy for the video. But... It's beautiful. I'm cooking some, cooking some soup today. The girls and I decided to make some soup, so I was I was in cooking soup. The girls were cracking up. They go, I can't believe Dad's cooking something that's not barbecue. <laughs> so Sadie chopped up some onions, and McKinley chopped up some potatoes, and I was cooking up the beef and some broth and some mushrooms and. We'll put some pasta in it and squash. It'll be pretty good. Should be ready when mom comes home from work. So it's just simmering the broth and the some of the potatoes are in. Some rotel is in there. Some uh, some uh, not the pasta rotel pasta, but the. Uh, the tomato rotel stuff is is in there cooking with it as well. It's just in there simmering right now. So. And then we'll add the mushrooms and the yellow squash, the pasta, and the rest of the potatoes. We'll add the potatoes in about 20 minutes. Mushroom pasta and, and squash in about a half hour. you heard that wind it is windy the trees that have leaves are blowing really good here
This Kindle Cream is a delicious, delicious tobacco. And it smokes really well in a in a pipe that isn't broken in. It's quite good. I thought I had uh, packed it too tight. I couldn't get a draw on this at all. And opened it up and took the the uh, filter out and boy it opened wide up and my uh, filter blew away it looks like and I got plenty of filters in the house for these but I never use a filter on them so. but it must have been jammed in there real good because it it was plugged up That filter blew away. So it's probably down under the deck now. gorgeous day. Man, it is gorgeous out here. This is probably the nicest day we've had since I moved here as far as the weather, uh, as far as temperature being really nice and just a beautiful day. Uh, we've had days that I liked more. I love the snow and the, the cold weather much more than this, but this is just a beautiful day. First day I haven't had to wear a sweatshirt and some sort of jacket or something, but uh, that's not the kind of weather I like. <laughs> Sure, we'll get plenty of hot weather and stuff when when uh, summer comes. I am looking forward to spring and seeing all the trees with foliage on them. And man, I know it's going to just be absolutely beautiful here. And uh, you know, all the locals say this is just the ugly time of year here, but man, I love it. And it's just, you know, all the trees have no leaves. Most, you know, 99% of the trees have no leaves on them at all. I mean, everything looks dead, but it's beautiful to me, man. And uh, I can't wait to see it with the leaves and then to experience fall for the first time will be just spectacular I'm sure spring and fall are just going to be amazing here but as I look around here right now and I just see all the bare trees how beautiful it is bare I can't even comprehend how beautiful it's going to be when everything has leaves on it you know I've got the neighbors across the street here have evergreens along their house there's six six big evergreen trees along the side of his house which I'm used to from California everything was evergreens there and then the house on the corner over here has one tree with leaves on it I don't know what kind of tree that is but it's the only tree in the neighborhood with, with leaves on it that's not an evergreen you know, not a pine tree. 
and uh, it's just I love it here man I just love it here I can't wait to see all these trees all these oaks and maples and everything with leaves on them and it's just going to be gorgeous it's just going to be a, a, a sight to behold I just know it And I will definitely take you guys around the neighborhood when that happens and show you. We, uh, we have a one year lease on this house and I think it ends in October but we can go month to month after that but um, hopefully we'll find a place of our own after that and uh, but this play this area is just gonna it's just beautiful man we just love it here There's just enough nature for me in, in McKinley. And Sadie likes the nature. And just enough city for, for Denny. You know, it's close enough to work. It's close enough to shopping. And uh, it's just, it's the perfect balance here. Sadie would like a little more country. This is enough country for me here. This is. We're kind of on a busy street. That's the only thing I don't like. But you know, you walk a, a couple blocks that way or a couple blocks that way, and you're you're country. You're out in the the middle of nature and in the country and trees and canyons and with this street where we're right on the the end of the block and it's on a major major street here and Sadie doesn't like that so when you're in the house you can't hear it at all you know they got everything's double paned windows here and you cannot hear the traffic at all Unless it's the fire department or an ambulance, then you can hear them, but we cannot hear the traffic whatsoever. Can't hear the dogs barking in the house. It's, uh, it's insulated very well from the outside when you're inside. But I can't wait to see the the views when the when everything's got foliage on it. It's just going to be beautiful here. But you know, living in the city all my life, you know, in California, and coming here and just. This is a whole new thing for me, man. It's, uh... You know, I was born up in, in the Bay Area, up in... Outside of... The East Bay, up in... In Richmond, California, San Pablo. And then moved to L.A. area, uh, San Pedro. And then down to San Diego. And uh, 
lived in San Diego since 1969 up until we moved here. So I've never been out, you know, anything like this. This is just heaven. And, uh, you know, I've always wanted to live, well, since the early 2000s, I've wanted to live in the Blue Ridge. That's where I wanted to be, is the Blue Ridge. I thought it would be in, in first I thought it would be in North Carolina, and then I thought South Carolina. Then we wound up in the Blue Ridge of Virginia, and uh, man, it is heaven here. I'll tell you what, it is, it is heaven. And my mom was from West Virginia. And my uh, great grandmother was from Salem, Virginia, which is right here. And she's buried in uh, not too far from here, actually, in. Uh, in West Virginia. So we're gonna have to go over and find her grave someday. Visit her. But anyway, I, ne I never knew her, I never knew my great-grandfather, I never knew any of my great-grandparents on my mother's side. I knew my great-grandmother and my great-grandfather on my dad's side. My grandma and grandpa Owens. Grandpa Owens was a World War I veteran. I have his burial flag. But anyway, I just wanted to um, get out here and do a video and again I didn't think it was gonna be 20 minutes long so I'm getting back into old habits here smoking these big old pipes will do that I guess I love my 320s I do I do indeed love my 320s I will catch you guys later. I'm going to sit here and finish this pipe up. Got to go in. Finish up that soup here in a few minutes. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. God bless.